Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here, and I'm here to do another RG discussion video, this time discussing about the origins of demi-humans. And yes, I have done a video about the origins of demi-humans prior to this one, but uh, you see that one was kind of not very well made at all, so I just scrapped it and just decided to make a remake of that video, which is right now. So yes, I'm doing another one of these, and yes, this video is going to be more about talking just about what Ikuya Ogura said in chapter 75 and 75.5 of the RG and demi-human model because we says are as freaking fascinating as all hell because we finally get the reveal that of course I mean it's, it's from Ikuya Ogura so it has to be true right I mean yes demi humans are from the human heart they are created by some sort of like this energy that only the human heart can just create which is why only humans can become demi humans which yeah Ikuya even states that yes so Pretty much like any human can become a demi-human. It's with that power is within all of us. It's only awakened through like some sort of like final wish or just motivation that just like rocks your heart to the core. That just like allows you to just keep on moving forward. That just like brings you back is what Ikuya says in just chapter 75.5. It's just like really it's something like that. I Me, mean, I kind of expected it to be something like greater than that. It's just like motivation, determination, like. It's kind of like how in, in Attack on a Titan, how every single Eldian has the capability to become, you know, a, a Titan, basically. But of course, at the end of that manga, all of the Titans are just now gone forever. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is different here. I mean, Ajins are going to be keep on just being around, possibly until, like, the end of the universe. I mean, Ikuya even stated this, that, uh, yes, you see, Demi-Humans are even trying to find new ways to, you know, extend their immortality, to live even longer, like, much, much longer, even longer to, than to, like, just surpass the life of the universe expectancy. Because the universe has its own time, well, it will die as well. I mean, the universe isn't going to be existing forever. It will soon just, you know, poof away somehow. Of course, Ikuya, he doesn't even know when the universe will end, like I just said, and uh, no one does, really. So it's just up to, like, you know, speculation on like what will happen like what will become of demi humans ever right after that the universe is just over and done with like will they still be around or not uh, it's up for speculation of course uh, and yes like I said before I'll just continue on with this uh, demi humans are trying to find new bodies you know to keep on like living longer so they can truly be immortal like nothing not even old age will kill them because as far as we are aware of old age is the only thing that can actually kill an odd gene I mean, if Nanji finds a way to get around that by getting new, like, some sort of new body, just kind of like Orochimaru was trying to do with Sasuke so he can live wrong, longer from Naruto, of course, from Naruto Shippuden. Yeah, Orochimaru was trying to do the same thing here. Demi-humans will even try to do the same thing that Orochimaru was doing back at Naruto Shippuden. Yeah, of course. Uh, however, uh, that's just for speculation if they actually will do that. I mean, some may w will try to do that, but not every single Demi-human will. It's kind of the thing here, but uh, yeah, all we know is that uh, so demi humans are created from the human heart. I mean, it's just so it's like some sort of like energy source that the human heart is that can like you know develop these invisible black matter. I mean, he even stated that uh, equally himself that uh, you see, IBMs they're not even from this universe, they're not even supposed to be made here in the universe, they're from some other universe, someplace else with like different laws of physics different just like you know materials and stuff like that it's just stuff he says really complicated stuff like that uh, you know that basically ibms are just created from and uh is the human heart is something that's just different that has never been seen before throughout the known universe i mean even the universe was taken back by this like what's going on why is the human heart like from these human beings like creating this unknown source of material that's like creating these black invisible matter or, or whatever that's like allowing humans to like you know escape death like for example they can just like, be ran by a bison and just come back from that and like the universe will just be surprised by this like wait a minute this isn't heck going on like how it's supposed to be in the script this human was supposed to die right there why did he just persist from that he just came back like what's going on here so of course uh this happened like we saw at the beginning of chapter 75 around there like this event that happened in 2018 the thousand BCE around there before common era this is where some sort of like I mean it's, it's not a Neanderthal Neanderthals died like 40,000 years ago prior to this so and this was like 28,000 BCE so it was not a Neanderthal this was a, a modern human being who was like hunting some sort of bison or buffalo or whatever in some sort of colder climate because yeah back then like earth was in a very much more colder climate it was like around the ice age i think i'm not sure it was I, like ice age ice age but uh yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure even the woolly mammoths were extinct at the time so 
maybe uh, I don't know. May there was there was like some sightings of woolly mammoths like existing like I guess a couple like thousand years ago on some island somewhere, and then yeah, eventually they died off because of you know. I think because of like inbreeding, they died off because like their DNA was getting weaker and weaker, producing weaker woolly mammoths. But like, yeah, that's just some evolutionary like stuff. I just wanted to like bring up whatever that just made woolly mammoths weaker, and now they're gone. So yeah, something like this happened here with the humans, and that like yeah, this human being died while he was trying to hunt a buffalo, and a small invisible black matter that that this other human died just like twenty eight thousand years ago, like you know prior then in a. Yeah, he saw this event and then I suppose his human partner came back to life because he became a demi-human. Like there was just something that he was holding on to that just brought him back from existence. And then eventually, of course, like, yeah, demi-humans are still weak against old age. Old age can still kill them, just like they can't be killed like naturally, you know, like just like something killing them. Like, yeah, it's like they can be killed naturally by old age as a natural way to die, but they just can't be killed by some other like absurd reason, like, you know, by being killed by a bison, just like I just said. and. Uh, yeah, that cannot kill them. So, demi human, just being a demi human is something like anybody can be. It just has to be unlocked somehow. I mean, I don't know how K managed to unlock. I mean, K, he died from childbirth. So, is this really correct? I mean, K was just a baby at the time. How could he have just. How could he have any sort of like motivation to have kept him alive? I mean, is there something more to it than being in like. to becoming a Najin? Because I don't understand, like, a. Uh, What's, what does Equia mean? I mean, Equia doesn't really go in depth about this. Like, he didn't really explain how K was able to survive, like, you know, dying from, from, from childbirth. I mean, he died while he was inside of his mother's womb. But, and then, yeah, it was because of some sort of, like, weak lung that he had. Like, he couldn't breathe, like, you know, functionally. His, his body wouldn't function very well, and that, that didn't allow him to breathe. But then, somehow, he just died from that. Yeah, yeah, of course, like, he would die from that. And somehow, he came back. He was he became a demi human somehow. I mean, I don't know what K Nagai really is or if like Ikuya Ogura is a hundred percent accurate is what he, of what he's saying. I mean uh, he's talking about like faith and how like the universe planned all of this. Like this is this was all planned, so maybe the universe planned for you know K to actually be an Ajin and like uh but you see the thing is that the, the universe didn't plan for IBMs to be a thing. I mean IBMs aren't even from this universe at all. And everyone like Ikuya tells this like to it just ridiculed him because like it, it just sounds so far-fetched and it's just incredible that like the universe like didn't know about this whole thing that he created or i don't know many scientists didn't really take what equally said seriously but uh, i mean i did i do and uh, i kind of really like equally as one of my favorite characters because of what he says it's really fascinating to me it makes me think a lot about like what he says like or like just what more knowledge he has inside of his brain. It's just Equia's brain just fascinates me. Like just because I mean I love information in manga. I love gathering information. It's one of my favorite things to do while reading manga. Just like finding interesting things I just like like to just think about and just and just piece them together. Just just to solve this puzzle and like what are IBMs? What are our genes? Like how were they created? Why is it like the human heart can create this unknown source of like matter that no other creature's heart can? Like what makes human beings different? It's because I guess because of their complex emotions and so just something happened with like the first like mammals that developed like right after like the dinosaur extinction and then something happened up there where they eventually evolved into like these ape-like creatures and then into humans and then yeah I mean, you think like this whole thing will actually start with the human brain but no it's the human heart that's where it came from like with demi humans not the human brain i mean the human brain does have something to do with it i mean but it's mostly from the human heart according to Equia ogura so i'm going to take that in face value that yeah what Equia is saying is true that uh, demi humans are from the human heart and nowhere else at all I don't know, comment down below on what you think about this or what you think about what Equia said in chapter 75 and then chapter 75.5 and then I think a little bit of chapter 76 he keeps on singing as well but uh, yeah just slightly a bit and then he just goes and walks up to it to some sort of IBM like one of like Sato's flood IBMs and then yeah I mean Equia even said it himself that yeah uh, flood IBMs don't really last for long so this like the ones that Sato created are going to be just fading away soon sooner than later so yeah that's why uh but yeah that's pretty much just everything i need to talk about here yeah sorry there's all like a lot of like uh plot holes here i mean it's not like a it's just a lot of things that haven't been like, explained thoroughly very well i mean we should have just like you know i mean well like gamo and sakurai should have made more like chapters like to explain like to fully explain like what Equia could have like you know brought into the, like the table 
Yeah, he just needed to say more, and we didn't really get more, unfortunately. I mean, and, and now we're never going to get more, so all we can do is just speculate, but even that's not good enough. Uh, I don't know, I mean, that's just pretty much everything I need to say about the origins of Demi Humans. I mean, it's not like the whole thing here, but uh, it's good enough, at least, and that's... Uh, I'm just happy about that, at least. Uh, we got something here. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? I mean, we could have never gotten anything from Equia, but uh, he gave us this, so that's really, that's really swell. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much just everything we need to talk about with the origins of Demi Humans for this IG discussion video. Yeah, yeah, I st I'm still making these, like, the IG discussion, like, video playlist. Yeah, I'm still producing more of these videos, so don't just, like, you know, give up on me, everybody. Uh, I'm still producing more of these videos. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much just everything I need to talk about here in this video, everybody. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone and uh bye that's yeah, so a bye